I got a uh, and a yeah, met her uptown, uh, but she from the borough, better known as the boogie down. Oh, sucky, sucky now, get up by the kitchen, man, I'm cooking now. Brother, man, slip me skin, suck it to me, and they gotta shut their mouth when they talking to me. I look around, it's a whole lot of fashion moments, but I hit the highest man, don't want the drama. Hey, peace and love, baby, keep it groovy. Every time we pop out, you know it's a movie. If I'm in hot water, then it's a jacuzzi. I got a shake, so I'm throwing deuces. I got a On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. Open man, that's Ozzie Newsom. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to it quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to. And it's a fumble. Wow. That block is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They get it to Sayers on the screen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards there on a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Up the middle, they run with Gail Sayers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
He's got this one to Hutchinson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first down, Mahomes flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Now a give. It's Sayers between the tackles. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Mahomes now to throw. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. D.K. Metcalf, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bucs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now, flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. So look at this. They got the 7-0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. Now a second and ten. Jackson now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. A big play there. 47 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Over the middle complete. That's Adams. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now here's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it with Sears. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. 15, 15, 15. Attack, attack. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Hey, 43, 43, 15. 15, 15. Right side. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. This drive didn't end well. But if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive line and creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Jackson. This is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They give it to Williams, running right. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. To throw is Jackson. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And this is caught. 